don't like uh, pitches to break the hands real low. And we don't believe in that the uh, glove should go down with the uh, hand like this. That is taught by some people. We prefer this, that the hand is going to break down, back, and up. Okay, so it's down, back, up here with the pitching hand. But the lead arm does this. The elbow goes forward. Okay, so you're immediately into a nice cock position and you're closed up. Now, there's fewer problems leading with the elbow than there is with a glove. But if a pitcher leads with a glove and does it correctly, that's fine. This would be a lead arm action with a glove. Okay, he's going to throw the glove out and whip it back. That is okay. From the front, it looks like this. Out and back. The danger is when he comes out, he often flies open. Then the front shoulder flies open. So we prefer this, right to the cock position. Now, you've seen this before, but notice how efficient it is getting up here and how I'm staying close. Again, let me show you. The pitching hand goes down, back, and up, and the glove elbow goes forward versus this. See, a lot of guys do this, and they're out of sequence. The proper sequence is this elbow and hand is going forward as this hand goes upward, okay? So it's this to throw. It's not like that to throw, okay? Have to get your trunk rotated, and the best way is that way right there. That elbow whips down into the hip. Upon stride foot plant, the body should have a firm, stable base and the trunk aligned to the plate with a head position in the top center of the triangle. From the front view on stride foot plant, one should see the front side close with the lead elbow, shoulders, and throwing hand aligned towards the plate. From the back view of the cock position, one should see the chest thrust out, the shoulders pinched back for more torque, with the throwing hand up high and closer to third base than the elbow.